We started the year with the ribbon cutting of the West Village housing complex, which added 676 beds to a crowded campus. We move on to another celebration of Michael Phelps. Shortly after winning eight gold medals in the Summer Olympics, Phelps returned to his hometown of Towson on a parade celebrating his accomplishments. Phelps is seen here driving down York Road, which attracted hundreds of thousands of people. And Kevin, can you tell me a little bit about football? Well, yeah, Nick. I mean, they really didn't have a great year, but there you can see at homecoming the, the fans came out to see a victory against Rhode Island, but the, the season would take a take kind of a turn for the worse as, you know, the losses piled up here shown against James Madison when they got run all over, and that prompted the firing of Gordy Combs as the fans are kind of disappointed. And now Rob Ambrose is here to try and save the day. You're, he's seen with uh, Bob Corrett and Mike Herman, uh, and in the administration to try and save the football team. He's done a, done a really nice job so far, and hopefully, uh, you know, good things will carry over. We were at Bourbon Street, Baltimore for ground zero of the celebration for President Barack Obama as he was announced the next president of the United States. A lot of our coverage surrounded uh, student support and activism, but downtown it was just a celebration for all. And then we move on to the Community versus Towson University Part 6. <laughs> this year focusing on the expansion of the Towson Center Arena in which the expansion would be moved closer uh, in the eyes of the community members to their neighborhoods. But speaking of the Towson Center, Kevin, let's talk about basketball. Well, you know, the Tigers had a really good run you'll see here uh, in the CAA tournament. Not a great year for them, but they really surprised a lot of people in the CAA tournament making some noise and beating two solid teams and then losing to George Mason. And then there was the Westboro Baptist who paid us a visit this year. Standing just across the campus, more than, uh, more than 200 people came out to ant for an anti-protest uh, against them. But continuing on more of a sad note, we also spent three days covering the uh, Sheridan Hotel murder-suicide case of the uh, Parenti family, in which it was discovered that Stephanie Parente, a sophomore at Loyola College, uh, had been murdered along with her 11-year-old sister and mother. A special mass was held in her honor at the Loyola Chapel on Loyola College's campus. And to not end the year on a sad note, we were able to get some good images from Tiger Fest, where the major hitch of the day uh, centered around getting 10,000 people off Burdick Field and into the University Union and Burdick Hall for a lightning storm. And Kevin, tell me about lacrosse. Well, you know, they had a deep run in the uh, CAA tournament shown here. They uh, advanced to the conference finals, uh, ended up losing to Villanova, but it looks like Tony Seaman will be back. The uh, longtime head coach of Towson will return next season, and hopefully uh, they'll be able to get over the hump and back into the NCAA tournament. On behalf of everyone at the Tower Light, thank you for watching this year, and we'll see you next semester.